Hey, hey, Bohemian with Bohemian Stars and Ocean Heart Reads. We're going to do another quick pick style. Super quick pick here. So we're going to go ahead and see what will your luck be like together. All right. What would your luck be like together? Because we, you know how we tr have transits in the sky? Well, when we're around different people, they transit our natal chart, which is why you might have one relationship where you just can't communicate well or you have something going on then you have another relationship and you're like the best communicator ever because of the way a person triggers and transits your astrology and you you know do the same to theirs so when we interact with people we have you know our jupiter's planet of luck our venus bene beneficial planets things like that we have our planets interacting with each other we also have our soul history our soul age our wisdoms our knowledge you know our destinies and stuff our numerologies, all that, interacting with each other. So that can change our luck, our fortunes, and dates. Some people are very lucky separately, but together, not so much, right? You see those celebrities all the time. Really fortunate individually, they get together and it's a mess. Um, some people, it's the opposite. They could have horrible luck separately, but together, phenomenal. And it could be one or the other, right? So, uh, quite often, you'll see people who aren't as fortunate, and then they will connect with a partner who's very lucky, and it can propel them forward as well. So let's see, what is your luck together? I'm going to put out different cards. I'm just using these for the colors, the wild honeycomb cards. I like to use them for color readings as well. And we'll do a quick pick. Okay, so let's do like nine colors. We have tangerine with green. We have green, light blue, purple, yellow, Teal, gray, red, orange, it's looking a little more orange these days, but black, it's a red flag card, so I guess this one is it, coral, let's get one more, we'll go with the true red, so we got a red, orange, and a red, Okay, so, okay, I just got to do one more, one more, because this, this one completed. There we go. All right, and this is what the card looks like. So, we have a total of nine cards here, ten cards. All right, let's say I'm getting green, light blue, purple, teal, honeycomb, or gold, or yellow, whatever you want to call it, red, orange, coral, black, red, and pink, okay? Go ahead and pick one of those, and we're going to do quick card pulls to see what your fortune will be like together. See you on your timestamp. All right, for those who chose the green card, what will your life be like in a relationship with them or together with this person? It doesn't have to be romantic either. What will your luck be like? Your luck and fortunes, obvious signs. <laughs> so your luck will be very obvious with this person. So it's kind of saying it's neutral. Um, there could be both good or good and bad, pluses and minuses, but it's going to be very obvious. Your signs, your synchronicities. So if you're someone who you're like, I don't know what my luck is. I can never tell, <laughs> you know, if it's positive or negative or whatever. You're going to feel like, whoa, it's yelling at me everywhere. It's very obvious to me and to others what my luck is from moment to moment when I'm with this person. It's written right here in the sand, okay? <laughs> Love kiss oracle and it says kiss, 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 kiss. All right? So, that's what I'm saying for that group. Point blank simple, neutral luck. And if whatever direction it goes, you're going to see the signs, synchronicities, numbers, and letters of it, okay? If you chose light blue, what will your luck and fortune be like in the relationship with this person? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm tripping now because, look, I'm gonna say, I picked this pile and this person literally has gold medal in something. So, <laughs> literally, literally has a gold medal in something. What? I should be a professional at this. <laughs> so, you can be champs. You can be champion. Gold energy, 24 karat magic in the air, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, very, very, very good. Like I said, you'll see. Your card says, you'll see, golden, all right, they're kissing the gold medal, okay, I mean, what more can you say, perfect luck, phenomenal luck in your connection together, all right, group purple, 
if you chose purple what is your luck going to be with this person late date so you could have delayed luck i do see it coming towards you but it can happen more privately like behind the scenes um literally your energy like maybe the way your luck moves is more like 12th house 8th house scorpio pisces behind the scenes like low-key kind of luck moves um so for example Maybe let's say you and this person work together and you literally start working behind the camera instead of in front of the camera. You see what I'm saying? And your luck comes through all of a sudden you're a director and a producer instead of being the talent in front of the camera. Um, but you get mad lucky doing that and it, it blossoms a little later. Maybe you say three years later, the project you guys have been working on blows up like Lord of the Rings. I don't know. <laughs> so this is this kind of energy here. So it's so you're still gorgeous while you're grieving is what the card actually says, the purple. Um, so don't, don't worry if things don't, uh, you know, take off right away. They could take off a little bit later, a little bit delayed, but I do see good investments. Work that's done behind the scenes will come to flourishing. Okay. And you chose teal. What's your luck like with this person? I say late bloomers for the last one, by the way. What's your like love? love, your love, love, love. What is your luck like with this person? Go teal. Adore. You guys have adorable luck. So you guys will have luck in like cute ways. <laughs> very cute ways like oh my gosh this puppy followed me home <laughs> like you'll just have cute things oh my gosh a butterfly came to me things that are cute and lighthearted and just like a fluffy romantic life kind of thing um adorable synchronicities little happy bubbles <laughs> um in your life those kind of things. So if you're like, oh my god, that's exactly the kind of luck I love. I just love little fuzzy, cute, the world is sparkly and wonderful kind of luck. That's the kind of energy you guys are going to have together, right? Very sweet, very affectionate kind of luck. If you chose honeycomb or yellow or gold or whatever you're calling it, <laughs> it says good vibes your way. What kind of luck do you have with this person? <laughs> Making up reverse. Hmm. Well, I feel like with you guys, you'll know what to do and what not to do. Some of you, you're not going to have luck with this person because you guys are not going to make up and get back together. Or you're not going to work together. You're just not going to connect together in that way. Um, however, for those of you who will, it could be that you'll have luck to know what not, like let's say what not to invest in, what not to do, how not to move forward things like that um yeah so it's kind of strange what not to connect with what not to do again but it's almost like you were doing this but don't do it anymore kind of vibe yeah okay let's see almost like someone puts you on knowledge if you chose red orange Flying all the way across the red orange here. Dating and reacts reverse. <laughs> so you have good luck in dating with this person. <sighs> reacts reverse. You guys could have bad luck on social media though with them. So um whatever happens. So if you are like, yes, I literally want to date this person, there could be good luck that comes through that. And then the realm of dating. Maybe people love to talk about your love life and your dating life. However, at the same time, that then brings, you know, shade, trolls, or whatever. So, you do have to watch your social media. Maybe, um, let's say if you get this job, your dating life goes really well, and you can afford to go out and date and stuff. But, then you have to watch your social media because the job is really picky about what you post on social media. So, it can be something like that. But, yeah. <laughs> Watch your social interacts, your reacts, what you're responding, what you're tweeting out here and stuff. Um, putting up on, you know, your, your sites. And then dating life goes well. If you chose coral.
collect you have to gather. You don't want to move hard. The girls are just cold. What? <laughs> this is the pile people are going to scroll through. Look, people think I don't know. You're going to try to watch all of them and say, oh, this is my pile. I picked this one. <laughs> That's not how reading goes. It doesn't mean pick a card like that. <laughs> Go pick the one that you like what you hear. But this one you'll like what you hear because this one says y'all have rich stuff energy. You have luck with money. Point blank. <laughs> That's the love kiss. And this person's kissing their credit card. They say yes. All right. Don't mind if I do. Um, <laughs> don't mind if I do have things low to gold on the eyelids here. Just seeing gold. So y'all will have money. Money, money, money together. A good fortune with your finances. And, you know, richness is that's saying something. All right, for those who chose black, what is your black? Now, of course, remember luck, fortune, all this kind of stuff. we got to utilize it. we got to accept it. we got to go through those doorways, etc. There's been times where I've had certain clients or people I was connected to, whatever relationship dynamic, where, you know, I'm someone who, I'm really good luck. <laughs> I'm really good luck. And I can bless people with good luck very easily and help them win things and help them succeed in different things. But it's like whenever these opportunities would come and start popping off for the person, if they shut down or didn't like it or didn't believe in themselves or whatever, they would kill that energy, right? So remember, you know, luck likes to be accepted. It likes excited energy, believing energy, because luck is ruled by Jupiter, right? Rules Pisces and Sagittarius, the signs of belief. So remember that. I don't know why I suddenly want to say that right now, but now before this pile, but for those who chose black, what is your luck like with this person this connection intentionally single <laughs> your luck is better off alone that's all they're gonna say in this quick pick they said look honey your luck is better off by yourself than with this person so even if you get connected with this person try to keep your luck your fortune separately sometimes you just gotta do that right partners have different beliefs or they just they know to keep their energy separate honey don't come in here when i'm watching the game <laughs> Right, honey, don't be trying to come over here when I'm doing my raffle, okay? Because you you know how you are, okay? Keep your energy over there. My energy's good. Your energy is not, is not, you know, cohesive with my bingo. So, <laughs> all right, get away from the call machine when I'm trying to win this because, you know, your energy just is not harmonious, okay? So, there's something like that. Your energy is better by itself. I wouldn't get together with this person just for trying to match luck or something. Because remember, some people who are really lucky is because they're luck vampires, right? They're energy vampires. You see that a lot with people who are very successful. So, like the whole Wolf of Wall Street kind of vibe, keep that in mind as well. Just because they're lucky for them does not mean they're lucky for you, and that's word. For those of you who chose red, what is the luck energy? What's the luck energy you have with this person? Oh. Wow. <laughs> Y'all, you guys cheated. <laughs> you pulled too many cards. New doors opening. All right? New doorways. New doorways. Okay, but um, we have all is well, meanness, and incompatibility as well. So, yes, this, pe this person could get you in the door to certain places, people, things, connections. But it might not end well necessarily. There's a lot of differences and maybe how you want to use your luck or nuances to your luck that also could be incompatible just as much as some of them could be vast opportunities. Um, an example I could think of here is let's say a record label exec who signs on talent. So it's like, wow, it's the, you know, it's, it gets someone into a different vibration, right? A whole new playing field. At the same time, there could be meanness. There could be, you know, let me out of this contract. This is not, not where I want to land. Um, all this kind of making me think of Mariah Carey, like trying to get on her record deal, things like that. <clears throat> so there's something that's definitely a mixed bag here. There is a whole new, you picked a card that was about a new path and you have a new door. However, you do want to take into consideration that it's probably not where you're going to end up. The luck or the opportunities are, are not going to be the end all be all of where you want to land. You know, there could be someone almost taking the power because they are your doorway to these opportunities and luck okay so if you were like oh you know the sugar daddy 
<laughs> it's gonna get me where I need to go, they might, you know, like tantalize you with those options, but then also pull them back and be like, yeah, but I get all the power, you know what I mean? So you have to consider in this situation, um, be or be real good with your legal contracts. You know, if you are trying to cut a deal or something like that or do business partnership, I'd be very careful if you're asking a bis business partnership for that question and that's your luck. I would, I would really not want to go into business with that person, to be honest. Some of you might be like, hey, I'm going to play it by ear. I'll jump to the opportunity and then I'll protect myself in a way or just deal with the fallout. So you got to see it's your reading. All right. <laughs> Blue pink. Last one. Here we go. Quick, quick stop. What is your luck with this person? <laughs> chef's kiss coming up. I love that it's like forward moving. It's going to be chef's kiss in the future. <laughs> Delicious meal served up to you. Okay, yeah, and you don't have to keep your eye on it either. It's almost like the timer's gonna go off, the meal's gonna be perfect, the, the food comes out the oven, delicious. <sighs> it's gonna be everything that you want to order. Okay, want not all your desires are met, it's the right thing at the right time, and you smell the aroma of it as it prepares. So basically, you feel the good luck cooking up, you feel it building up, and when it's the right moment, your blessings come through with this person. You don't have to worry. You feel comfortable with the sharing of luck or where your luck lands or how your luck is affected by that person. All right. So that's what I'm seeing. Very quick. <laughs> Speedy. Quick. Uh, quick pick here. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell if you're here in a good way and you want to join in on the channel. And I appreciate y'all so much for your interactions and your watch time. Thank you. Thank you. Value that very much. Okay. And I will talk to you again on another one. Bye.